Hey you guys, so we are going to take care of a reading to see what ancestor is guiding you today. And the card that actually came out is the garden. The garden is the world card, okay? And so the definition for the world card here is um, it's letting you know that you've successfully taken care of business and that it's also time to reap all the goodness that you have sown. All right. If this is in regards to any kind of gossip, this is basically saying, you know, that this is a situation where it's reminding you of how much better everybody would be if they just minded their own business. OK, now. Some of the things that you may want to consider when it comes to the world card and what ways do you heal the world? Uh, seriously consider the benefits of working or joining uh, some form of a club that helps the world. <laughs> uh, the solution has arrived, so there's nothing more that you need to seek. And then you need to also think about what makes you feel safe, grounded, and whole. Also, don't wait for anyone else to have a pleasurable experience. Learn to stop and smell the roses. Learn the art also of being content. Also, understand that you have made it, so... Now is the time to enjoy it, okay? So, you have been in a place where you may have been working really hard. And you have successfully arrived. So, let's see what this um, is about. <clears throat> Four of sticks. Building a foundation for yourself. Looking at your home life. Um, also having something to celebrate in your life. So that goes perfectly with the, uh, the garden card. So let's see what we have here. You definitely have a feeling of feeling blessed, um, taking things to the next level. This is also dealing with prosperity, a rite of passage, uh, family reunions, having things in your life to celebrate, freedom, having security, like all of that. So this kind of feels like a bit of a milestone with the garden card here, that you've gotten to this place where you've been working hard to build a certain foundation for yourself where you can be in a place of security and now you've attained it you've gotten there um so let's see what else we can get what else can we get with this eight of coins this is something that may have taken you a long time to build into and invest in a certain level of mastery that has gone into this. I always like to see what it says in the book because it, it adds a little bit of something extra. I don't know why. I just like it. Um, uh, let me see. Let me see. Okay, so yeah, this is dealing with like skill development, uh, working hard to attain a goal, uh, job training, apprenticeship, uh, possibly even having a new job, doing thorough research because this is the eight of coins is all about mastery when it comes to whatever it is that you are doing, um, dealing with students, teachers, educators, um, mastering a subject studying really putting your nose to the grind so again this goes hand in hand with this you've been working really hard to master your situation to get to a point where you actually have something that you can celebrate laying down a source laying down a uh, foundation of security for yourself where you have arrived you can relax because all of the hard work that you have put in 
There's so many little creatures around here. All the hard work that you have put in has actually paid off. Okay, let's get a little bit more to this story. We got two that jumped out. All right, so we have the Eight of Knives and we have the Four of Coins. So I would say that um, in the past, there was definitely a decision to make and you probably were like really in your head about it, um, trying to figure out what would be the best path for you to take. And I think that as you look at this, there's four paths, okay, north, south, east, and west. And there's two swords for each one, and this person is stuck in the middle. I think that this is a thing where you may have had to weigh your options and look at the direction that you are going, going to go in and trying not to get caught up in fear, but understanding that with any direction that you were going to go in, there's going to be pros and cons like the sword one would represent the pros the other would represent the cons and you may have been focused more on the cons instead of the pros when it comes to whatever path that you are going to take but coming out of that fear now uh there's the four of coins um and so there may have been a point where there was a bit of holding back trying to be frugal, um, practical when it comes to how you're going to make this uh, transition or go into whatever it is that you needed to do. Because again, we're looking at what you have mastered, what you have actually built upon to get to this place of having a sense of security for yourself and understanding that you definitely have arrived. Okay, so that could have been, you know, a bit of a challenge for you was trying to make sure that you made it in the right, you know, took the right direction. And for those of you that have not gotten there yet, and this could be futuristic for you, this could be where you are, the eight of knives and the four of coins, um, weighing out your options trying to you know get out of your head not allow yourself to be stuck in this place of fear there's a lot of coins here uh doing a juggling act balancing but it also feels as though with that big wave in the back that you may be caught up in a wave of emotions trying to balance out your emotions and your emotions could be directly tied to your income, how you're going to manage, how you're going to, you know, rob Peter to pay Paul if that's something that you need to do. But looking at what it is that you can control and really, really trying your best to not allow yourself to succumb to the pressure of your emotions so let's see what else we got here what else do we got I hate this I feel like a piece of hair is sticking out on the side what else do we have okay so we got the eight of six so there's some very good news coming uh, in really fast, possibly even um, some traveling. Let's see what else we get from this. Um, but if you're looking for any kind of good news, I would definitely say that this is it. Um, but things I feel moving forward are going to happen very rapidly. Um, this is when it comes to communication, finding a resolution. Um, things are just really gaining momentum when it comes to what you're trying to do with your finances, balancing things out. 
Okay. Let's get some more here. Oh, we got two. Okay. So, the energy surrounding your circumstances, the Ten of Coins and the Ace of Knives. So, this definitely, and again, we got more coins. We are looking at your family life situation, how your family is going to be uh, affected. And needing to see things clearly, needing to make sure that whatever it is that you are doing for your uh, family is protected. Um, because if you see at the bottom here, there's that chicken foot. And so the chicken foot is all about protection. And this also could be communication that will come in that will be very clear as far as you knowing what it is that you need to do, okay? How you need to go about um, your situation, how things are going to be directed for you to work out in the best way when it comes to your family. Let's see what it says for it. The ten of coins as well. Yeah. Um, strong family ties, supportive relatives, ancestors, inheritance. This could also be about money. Being in you inheriting money that is directly tied to your family. Uh, having some form of finan uh, financial stability. Having plenty. But this again is having a lot of success because this is someone who has actually worked hard to achieve this okay that security for the family okay that is the energy around things and so let me see what we have for your hopes and fears That initially turned over the seven of coins. This is a lot of coins here. Um, needing to be patient and wait to actually see the fruit of your labor. Um, and maybe possibly even feeling a sense that things won't come in on time for you. But whenever, and you can personally feel that way, that does not mean that whenever things come into play for you that it was really not meant to happen at that time because whenever it's meant it's going to it's going to come so looking at um being patient you put a lot of work in understanding that at some point things will happen in due time you will get the return of the investment that you put in but this is also coming before the eight of coins slow and steady progress when it comes to uh, waiting for those long-term results okay finishing what you started making sure that you're reflecting on the choices that you've made also this is not dealing in any kind of get rich quick scheme this is again studying Putting in that work and sometimes we always want to sometimes people can want to take the the short way around things and that just may not work um, for your situation when it comes to trying to build on something that will last more than your lifetime so let's see what else can we get here Okay. So we got the four, the four of baskets. Um, I would say, you know, that this is just a sense of needing to feel content right now and content with where you are. If you have not attained this yet, which you're going for, you have to feel like you already have it. 
you don't want to be ungrateful because we have looked all these things in the past that you could be ruminating over that were uh, very emotional things for you, but now you're being presented with something else. But it's almost like um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Like not being grateful, but being complacent, feeling complacent. Um, this just to me just really feels like somebody is not grateful because you you may not be looking at the small things the things that you have right now to make you feel a sense of already having more than enough but this is needing to do some introspective work um meditating coming to a place of realization of knowing that you've already got what you want okay um i'm gonna read what this says this says a young woman is being offered just one more basket after rudely rejecting the other three she rejected the other three um we have the Angie cufflinks behind her, which is the Neville Goddard cufflinks. And you can see it right there. I don't know if you're going to see that really clear. Okay. The Neville Goddard cufflinks um, that belong to Neville Goddard, who was one of the most important influential New Thought voices of the 20th century. The New Thought Movement emphasized the power of positive thinking and the ability of the mind to manifest whatever the seeker desired. So, um, also referring to the law of attraction, okay? Neville claimed that his teacher was a turbaned black man named Abdullah who tutored him in scripture, number, mysticism, the Kabbalah, and the Hebrew. New Thought philosophy was incorporated in many black American spiritualist churches. So, again, I would have to say that this is, um, you know, feeling a little complacent with what it is that you may already have, not, not fully realizing what you've got. And this is as an outcome. If you don't realize already what it is that you have, you may not attain what it is that you are desiring. You have to already be in a state of uh, realization, knowing that you've already attained what it is that you desire inside. You have to feel it. You have to know that you've got it. Um, and as far as what this is showing to me, you already have it because the first card that came out was the star card the new garden and to me i'm sorry the world <laughs> the world card the garden this is someone who has already attained everything that they want like she's got the white picket fence here she's she's got the home in the background she's tending to her garden she's doing all the things that she needs to do to keep everything up going and flourishing the way that she would like. And then being in the synergy of being able to celebrate because the foundation has been built. There's been a lot of hard work that's gone into this. And this is somebody I would say who has even mastered their finances. Maybe you have not gotten there and you, you know, are in this place still where you're doing this juggling and you need to be a bit frugal right now not spend everything that you have and there's a bit of apprehension and fear here because you need to go in a direction that could very well be a new direction and you could be looking at the pros and the cons so you may have some messages coming in now really fast in regards to the direction that you need to take and things are going to be very cut and clear with the communication. But this is also something that you know is going to affect the stability of your family. 
whatever work that is there that needs to be put in needs to be put in but also realize that it is going to take some effort on your part you may need to take some money management classes um, figure out how you can invest the easiest and simplest way for you to invest but investing not where you're going to get that money back really really fast but investing in a way where you'll have something for the long term they have things that are out there that you can utilize like a acorn where you diversify your uh, money and it's like it invests for you um, a little bit in a whole lot of different places but you allow that money to generate and over time you you will be sitting on a pretty decent stack of money that can actually help you so I'm gonna let this reading go right here because we've already reached the 21 minute mark but hopefully this is something that um, resonates and again don't be ungrateful. Um, meditate on what it is that you need to do to come out of this uh, place of complacency and um, not being grateful for what it is that you're being offered. But understand that whatever it is that you want, you've already got it. You've already got it. You just have to realize it within yourself okay and then you put in that work to go towards it because one of the things about manifesting is it's not all just sitting back and hoping and wishing and dreaming that you had something different there is that action part that you need to take in order to attain certain things or attain the things that you um that you want like you can't just sit around and be like oh i wish that I had a job, but then you don't, you know, or even a specific job, but then you don't put in the work to actually go online, look at different um, places that may be hiring, get, you know, go through the process of figuring out how to have a decent interview, things like that. There's still always something that you need to do in that process. So hopefully, like I said, this resonated. And for those of you that have realized that you already have what it is that you want, good for you. Good for you. But that is it. Thank you so much for uh, allowing me to speak to you, watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys on the next one. And don't forget to check me out. If you guys are watching this on Facebook, check check out my YouTube channel, Ivy Vibes Tarot. Okay. Um, and also, I know that I post things on my Divination with D channel for Facebook. I also have a Divination with D channel on YouTube. So you may want to check that out as well. I do get into more of the manifesting things on there. I get into uh, some things dealing with my spell work, uh, crystals, things like that. So you may want to check that out as well. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Until the next time, peace, love, and light.